Yeah, good morning, everybody. Good morning. And we just finished a, a, a workshop called Deeper Intimacy. It was just for our LAM alumni, just going a little bit farther, talking about some, some new things and talking about our sexual oneness and stuff. And, and um, today we want to talk about being spiritually one and some of the things that God has done for us to kind of give you hope and expectation for you married couples of of just how intimately God can can connect you spiritually spirit to spirit mm -hmm. and for your singles even even in your dating relationships God can begin this mm -hmm. and and can kind of complete it as you're married so mm -hmm. I just wanted to share some things that actually we thought about we shared a bunch of these at a wedding mm -hmm. a couple of years ago and and this is so fun because <clears throat> this has sort of been a way of life since mm -hmm. we've been married and, and sometimes we take it for granted that it's it's really happening, but when we start talking about it and sharing the things that we remember, and like we have way more than we could share in this little thing right now that we're sharing yeah. with you, but it really is God crashing into our world mm -hmm. and, and manifesting through our oneness spiritually, spirit to spirit, with the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. And it is just... It's pretty amazing. Yeah. So it is God crashing in. It's God co um, coming in and breaking through to us. But I think I think it really began and begins with almost all of us of, of just having a hunger for God, yeah. a hunger for His Spirit. Yeah. And secondly, so you keep that hunger, pursue that hunger. Secondly, it is being willing to submit as best you can. Say, God, I want what you want and follow Him. Even where th some things don't make sense, we've yeah. followed God and some things, you know, didn't make sense and got really hard, but that's exactly what happened with most people that follow God in the Bible. So, mm -hmm. so that kind of set us up for some things. And I'll just give you an example. <clears throat> Several mm -hmm. years ago, uh, I got up in the middle of the night to go to the bathroom, and I don't remember what all was going on in my life at the time, but a song was going through my mind. It's a Jen Johnson song. And these words from the song were going through my mind. Oh, let your faith arise. Oh, no, no, it, goes to, it starts this way. Lift up your weary heads. Oh, let, let your faith arise. Those two phrases, whatever order they, they come in. And so I, I, I didn't say anything. It just was going through my mind. And I kind of saw it as a prayer from the Lord. So I go back to bed and Lori's asleep. And in her sleep, she says, oh, let your faith arise. She whispers it. <laughs> And, and I like, don't even remember. He tells me. Yeah, about it. she was she was dead asleep, but it was just our spirits were on the same plane and receiving from the from the mm -hmm. Lord at the same time, and it's just mm -hmm. kind of really cool as we're married to have that happening. Yeah, and and God is very creative in how He does this. As we're looking back over our lives, we're going, "Oh my goodness!" And then this happened, and then this happened. One time, I always pray on um, Christmas Eve. I always ask the Lord for um, a gift from Him to us. And I just say, Lord, we just want your presence. We want to know you're here. We want, we want you to be a part of us on this day as we're celebrating, you know, Jesus coming. And, and so this was like four in the morning. And we're, we're both awakened. And there are these owls that are outside our... Um, window in the tree outside our window and I'm seeing them as a, a male and a female owl because they're like singing for an hour and a half they sang to us and one would sing and then and then the other would sing like in harmony and then the other ones would stop and they'd sing and then they'd come back this went literally this went on for an hour and a half and it was just like the Lord was saying, this is what I've called you to do. Mm -hmm. There's parts that you're going to bring, Barry. There's parts that, Lord, you're going to bring, but you're going to do it together. And it's it's going to be like a whole duet, you know. And it was just, mm -hmm. it was pretty amazing. We just, yeah. we, we couldn't believe it was happening, but it was, and it was beautiful too, you know. And, yeah. and nothing like that has ever happened. <laughs> and it hasn't happened since. Another cool thing, speaking of animals and birds, is um, <laughs> especially when, when we moved from Reading, or rather from Orange County to Reading. Oh, I know what you're going to say. It was kind of a tough time, and, and we, we started seeing hummingbirds in really strange ways. Like, um, coming up, our, our home was on the side of a hill, and there's a basement, a main floor, and in our bedroom. So up 
it's a high up in the air. He's coming at our windows and just standing there and just uh, facing and just just like hovering. They're looking at us. <laughs> <clears throat> humming, hovering in front of our window, and it's like. You know, it, there's nothing there. There's no flowers. There's nothing up there except the window. And then we would walk and walk and pray. And would, hummingbirds would come in front of us, maybe maybe uh, 15 feet in front of us. And as we're walking, they're backing up, walking right with us. They're and just staying falling. right with us backwards, going backwards. Yeah. Can hummingbirds do that? Obviously. Oh, they do. oh, yeah, they go any direction. Um, but what was really cool is we, we'd gone to a, a dream seminar years before prior and someone specifically asked the person what do hummingbirds stand for and hummingbirds stand for prophetic promise of fruitfulness mm -hmm. and so we just took that every time as a promise of God bringing fruitfulness into our life making us fruitful for the kingdom that kind of thing mm -hmm. and even at home just different times I was one time I was walking up to the house and we have jasmine on an arbor oh, yeah. and there was literally this close to my head there was a hummingbird at well, was jasmine and I stood there for a minute or two watching that bird and it did not fly, fly away. And just incredible things like that mm -hmm. that we've experienced. She's experienced them too, flying right by her and, and dreams. You've had dreams of hummingbirds. Or when you were out on the elliptical one time, oh, yeah. you had this whole thing where first uh, the berry hummingbird came and then the lorry hum hummingbird came. And, and then... came as two, and, twice. And, and you kept came. saying, Lord, if this is... It, and it's like yeah. the Lord would answer him through how many hummingbirds and what it was looking. It yeah. was crazy. So it's really, it's been amazing how many times the, the Lord spoke to us through hummingbirds and yeah. each other. Yeah. The Lord has spoken to us so many times through all kinds of different dreams. And sometimes he's gone to sleep asking the Lord a question and I'll wake up in the morning either having the dream or having the answer come out of my mouth that he was praying. And somehow the Lord connected our spirits yeah. and he was using us, he was speaking through each yeah. of us to give each other the answer. Well, he does this also pretty, pretty um, you know, regularly um, where we will have sexual dreams about each other. He'll have dreams about me and I'll have dreams about him. You know, the kind of dreams that you go, oh, where, are, where is he? When you wake up, you know, you're just thinking about him. And God will do this regularly to keep us being regular in our intimacy. And it's, it's really wonderful because when you have one of those dreams, you know, you're, you're like ready to go. But, but the Lord has been very consistent in doing that in our lives. Going back probably 15, 20, 25 years, um, there were times when I'd get up in the middle of the night and be praying for Lori. And mm -hmm. it was kind of when we had first come into things of the Holy Spirit, the Holy Spirit was manifesting in our bodies a lot. And we'd pray and shake and things. And, and there were times when I'd get up and I'd go into a far corner of the house away from our bedroom and be <laughs> praying. And she'd wake up shaking as I, as I was praying for her. Again, we're just like... There's a, a connection, spirit to spirit, that, that was my good. My arm, I was, my arm woke me up, you know, and I'm going, and, and I, I remembered in that time the Holy Spirit would do that with me. He would yeah. just, you know, kind of like he's getting my attention or something, and yeah. then I get up and I go, and I, and I go, where, where's Barry? And I go find out that you were praying. I go, oh. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. Um, this was around the first time, you know, right as we were coming into the things of the Holy Spirit that we had not really experienced before. But um, I remember one night waking up out of a dead sleep and I said, we've got to forget what lies behind. And I'm sitting there saying this in my bed, sitting up, and all of a sudden he sits up. And we've got to press on to what lies ahead. And then we went back, we laid back down and we went back to sleep and we woke up in the morning and we said, what did we do last night? Yeah. You know, we had all kinds of times where the Lord, I remember one time the Lord had me praying something over him, I put, you know, and I didn't even remember what I was praying and, and, and you were, you were laying there, you were awake yeah. and just crazy things were kind of doing yeah, stuff. Literally dozens and dozens of, th of times, even this morning, um, I woke up. When I woke up about 10 after 5, she was already awake and had been awake for maybe an hour. And her mind was going, wasn't falling asleep. I had, I had a dream that woke me up and I could not. It wasn't a really bad dream, but it was just, it's like all of a sudden my mind was going. And I could yeah. not, I was trying to go back to sleep. 
So one of the thing, one of the things we found is often when she's awake and anxious about something or worried, if I actually lay next to her and cuddle with her, it'll help her go to sleep. So mm -hmm. we did that this morning. She went back to sleep for a while from the half hour, 45 minutes. And during that time, <laughs> I was dozing off too, but I, I kept, there were words to a song that kept going through my mind from the worship the previous morning at church. And then it, was, it, it goes, Jesus, Jesus, you make the darkness tremble. And in my mind, suddenly I was just, I kept saying that over and over again, Jesus, Jesus. And, um, uh, I, it was silent. I didn't say anything to her. I didn't, I didn't whisper it. it. Didn't sing it. And she woke up singing the song, that same song. And I was over. singing it all morning, and I was singing it in the shower. Then later, and then I realized I was singing it. And you said something like, "I was," and I go, "Oh, that's that's where I got that because I hadn't I hadn't heard him yeah. singing that, but it was." It was like the Lord was connecting our spirits again. Yeah. He, he was speaking to both of our spirits the same word, you know. So what's the point in all these stories? <laughs> well, you know, there's things we, we never, no one ever talked to us about this, that you can have these kind of, this kind of oneness together. And, and God did it for us, as I said, as we sought Him and really let Him lead in our lives and open ourselves up to His Spirit. Mm -hmm. He began doing it. It, um, it, it just helps us to know we're on the same plane, we're mm -hmm. connected with the Holy Spirit, He's connecting us mm -hmm. together, and it's just a really cool experience of oneness, a little yeah. tiny taste of what, yeah. I think what the Bible talks about when it says the two shall become one, yes. one and, flesh. And that it's a mystery. Yeah. This yeah. is a mystery. Yeah. We're connected spirit, soul, and body. Yeah. We don't understand it, we can't make it happen, but it does happen as we really... Uh, devote ourselves to the Lord and seek Him mm -hmm. fully. So we just want to release this to mm -hmm. you. Mm -hmm. And the Lord has said anything He gives to us, we can give it away. And so in the name of Jesus, we just release this to you as a couple. And singles, we even release this now, even before the Lord has shown you who you're going to marry. But we just say that the Lord is right in the middle of your union spirit soul and body and we bless your spirits to pursue him with everything to make him first to let him be the center mm -hmm. and then let him pull you together spirit soul and body and we pray this in the name of jesus amen <laughs>